Okay, so your boy Liam Neeson got a movie coming out. Uh, what's his name? Liam Neeson. Cold, Cold Pursuit, yeah. <laughs> he got a movie called Cold Pursuit coming out, okay? So a lot of people uh, that's, you know, like this, uh, that's a fan of Liam Neeson, probably from Taken. Uh, Taken... Taken um, actually put him on on a lot of people made him a bit, people became instant fan after Taken. Okay, I was I knew about Liam Neeson before Taken of you know other movies and he did a, I think he did a couple action movies before that. He's a good actor, you know. He always he's like basically the 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 um, poster boy for dead fiction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so Liam Neeson said some controversial stuff, man. Uh, on the while he talking doing an interview for this movie, he had a um, he had a uh, radio he had an interview. I'm not sure on some show, and they was asking him, you know, I I, I think they asked him how he get his motivation for the characters he need to play, and he was saying that I take myself to dark places. So he talked about a time in his life where he was in a place where he wanted to do something and he started kind of remember that to you know for motivation for his character and uh one of his places uh and one thing he had said was uh let's see if i had the actual thing uh, i ain't got the actual audio but what he basically what he said was um uh, a friend of his or somebody he know or a sister or somebody they they had got raped and he uh, and they told him about the uh, the attackers. She said the attackers was a black man or a black person, and yeah. and he said that he uh, was so mad that he'd go out. Now, see, now this when I heard half of this, right, I was like, huh, damn, it's fucked up. But when I actually read the exact what he said, made it kind of worse. Uh, yeah, were. Where he just, I thought it was just a, a thought. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was just a thought where he's saying that, hey, um, she told it was a black man. So I wanted to, I kept thinking of her attacker and I wanted to kill him. And it was just yeah. happened to be a black guy. See, that's what initially what I thought he said. No, but he went a step further of he went out to bars and was waiting for a black person to start something with him so he could kill them. He said that. Yeah. And I yeah. was like, whoa, whoa. You actually went out and tried to initiate something to kill a black yeah. person. Like, and he, hey, he, I he, don't he, know if I can sign off on that by saying like, oh, that wasn't too folks bad. Was gonna take, take, like, you know, this dude went to places where he knew folks wasn't gonna, gonna like it. Hoping one of them would start some shit so he'd have an excuse. Right. And I'm thinking, I was thinking like, damn, I thought it was just a thought he had in his head, but he actively tried to do this. That changes it for me. Saying I mean, that he like, actually went out, he actually went out to bars and was looking for a black person to start something. Thank goodness he didn't start something with somebody himself and then end up killing somebody just because of some shit like this. You know, he said it took him a week right. to get over this or whatever. What were you about to say? Because, like, because, like, looking at it, the way he lays it out, like, one of two things was about to happen. If he had ever like gotten a chance to go through it, either he was going to go down for, I mean, there is no either, or, and there's no if. If anybody had stepped to him, we wouldn't have Liam Neeson the actor. He'd be some dude that you know, uh, that that had you know committed a hate crime, killed a black guy because he wanted to kill a black guy. Yeah, but he's, we got we got also himself up to have an excuse to kill a black guy. That also opened up doors for discussion on things that happened in the past where somebody killed a black guy and it was self defense. Uh, you know, the Trayvon Martin and stuff. You know, where it was. Uh, um, and I don't want to get too much into that, but the person initiated a person, you know, started it, but you know he happened to have a gun on him and he ended up you know killing somebody in an altercation. And it's like, okay, well, it was self-defense or whatever. 
And, you know, that opened up a whole other discussion for that shit. And I don't even want to get into all that. Stand on Liam Neeson. Um, you know, like, like I, I ain't going to say, I, I can't just jump and say I, I hate this man or nothing. You know, he, it was something that he, he had a thought of. But it's just, it's just kind of, it kind of, it, it's, it's, it kind of bothers me. I ain't going to lie. It bothers me hearing that, you know, um, that if I was just walking down the street that day, you know, I could have got killed <laughs> by this dude just yep. because, you know, he wanted to kill a black person. Not not saying he was looking for the person who uh, did the actual crime. He just wanted Anybody? a black person. That's what really, Anybody? that's the key word. You know, that's the key phrase. A black a black bastard. That's what he said. A yeah. black bastard. That's where he kind of fucked up at, too. I'm thinking like, dude. Yeah, at random. Right. Uh, I'm looking like, dude. I know his PR people was they lost their mind when they heard that. They was like, "Oh fuck, we cannot clean this up." Because <laughs> like uh, he thought he was setting up a white knight story, you know? Right. And the thing, the thing was, if he would have said, now, "I'm telling you where he could have said," now I mean, I understand the frustration of one revenge for something, but I'm telling you what he could have said to make it not so bad. He could have said, "I went out and I wanted somebody who fit the profile of the person who attacked my friend." to come at me so I can kill him, you know? Yeah. And that profile happened to be a black person. Not, I was just one, a black person to, you know, come at me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I don't know what else you can say, man. <laughs> like, even if, like, or even the frame of, like, you know what? I was going out there looking for something to pop off. Like, it didn't matter who, what, where, why. I just need to get into something. Like, even that. Right. I mean, Right. I mean, but I mean, that's kind of like what people go through and you got to work that out in your head. I can understand that part. But to just look for, you know, one race because of that happened. I mean, that's that's the very definition of racist, like a, a, a hate yeah. crime. <laughs> yeah. like, you know, I mean, I can't like, say that. Oh, go ahead. Like even to not like even to not be able to have the wherewithal to say like. You know, oh, I, I wasn't just looking for any black guy, but, you know, everything we knew said a black guy did. And, and if I could find that black guy. Right. You know, he didn't say that, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, but like to just say any black guy, if any black guy want to start some mess, I was I was ready to take his head off. Right. Right. I actively look for a black bastard to kill. A black bastard. Some <laughs> black bastard. Not even a some. So, like, one might not have even done it. If, yeah. if enough of them had come at him. And it's kind of a shame, though, you know, because I, I I like Neil Leeson as an actor. I like his movies. Like I said, all the action movies, um, I was always a fan of. I mean, all of them weren't so great, but they was entertaining enough. Uh, I got some reviews of The Commuter and uh, Nonstop, you know. Uh, I thought those were actually decent movies for what they were. So this is, um, his, he continued his string of action movies. And this was like him talking about promoting this movie called Cold Pursuit. And um, and they're talking about boycotting it. You have to know the backlash is going to start. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think, I'm, I'm pretty sure he, he probably realized after the interview aired, like, damn, I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, the backlash started. They're talking about boycotting it. I don't think the movie's going to do too well to begin with. But they're talking about boycotting it. But that might make it, you know, do better. And then, um, sorry to say, it's going to be probably like some hate groups probably going to jump on it and be like, um, you know, oh yeah, we support Liam Neeson, you know, whatever. Uh so he yeah, made he wanna qualify his what's that? You know that ain't gonna be a good look. Like I know. You know I mean yeah, he, he, he probably you know, not gonna say he probably not gonna come out and support them, but they gonna try yeah. to support his movie because of what he said. <clears throat> so he kinda I guess he apologized and he gonna clarify his comments. He was on some show. Uh, I got the little interview, so I'm going to play this little interview. Can you see? Uh, I ain't, hold on, let me, I'm going to play it. I'm going to let you see it. Oh, wait, shit. Uh, so he got a little. Uh, all right. All right, can you see him? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to play the little, um, I'm going to play his little explanation, apology or whatever. So let me see what he said. Or a Scot, or a Brit, mm -hmm. or a Lithuanian, I would, I know I would have had the same effect. I was trying to 
show honor to my stand up for my dear friend in this, in this terrible medieval fashion. And I'm a fairly intelligent guy, and that's why it, it kind of shocked me when I came down to earth after having these horrible feelings. Luckily, no violence occurred, ever. Thanks, thanks be to God. Do you think you actually would have done if, if, a, if a yes. innocent black man yes. who had nothing to do? Yeah, I know. I, th that, that was my feeling. That I did want to lash out. Yes. Because my friend was brutally raped, and I thought I was defending her honor. And I admit that. And it's, it's, it's a learning curve. We all pretend we're all kind of, you know, politically correct. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this country, it's the same in my own country, too. You sometimes just scratch the surface and you discover this racism, racism and bigotry. And it's there. Mm. So what'd you get out of that? Okay, look, I know I was racist. But aren't we all racist? I, yeah, I know. Really <laughs> uh, see, he he don't know how America works. Like at that point, yeah. they would probably have been for real. Just like <laughs> if you would have probably just apologized and say you didn't mean to say that, they would have. But he kind of just he didn't double down. But he kind of just like said, "Hey, that's the way I felt. That's the way I felt." And I respect his. Uh, I respect him keeping his position. And I understand where he was coming from, but it's still, I mean, it's still wrong to say that I was going to kill any black person. And it's hard being a black person sitting like, how oh, she, she was probably thinking like, damn, I'm trying to give you a chance to clean this up. She and you just basically saying, I would have killed you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like she basically. She basically wrote his apology right in front of him. He's like, now will you sign this? Well, I have some revisions I'd like to make. Yeah, Man, I just mean, sign the apology, co-sign what she's saying, and walk on. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I, it's like I understand where he where he coming from. He. And you gotta also understand he's Scottish, uh, and it's hard hearing that accent because I, you never, I'm used to not hearing him talk like that. But uh, yeah. where he gotta understand in America, we politically correct, and what you say, what you what you say behind behind closed doors, and what you say publicly, you know, yeah. always two different things. You know, I mean, I, I do I do respect him having the courage of his convictions and 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 not just coming back coming out crying like you know some people they just come out crying i'm just stupid i didn't know what i was saying you know i respect yeah. that more than i respect the motherfucker they just gonna just they just lying you know they just lying so you won't stop buying their shit that's yeah. all they you know they what I'm saying? And, and i'm not that guy i'm not that guy i swear right. i was never that guy and i mean i understand what he's saying like i just had a mindset that was so ignorant and foolish, and I'm glad I never did nothing, but that was my mindset, and I understand that, but me as a black person still can't be cool with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, like it's, even though like, like even though that at that time in Scotland, he wouldn't have been the only person out there looking for some black to, to, to whack, you know? Right. But so, like to just sit there and say it like it wasn't nothing. Right. So it's like, I'll, I'll be like, look, man, as a black person, I can't tell you to go back in time and change how you felt. But if you apologize for just, uh, uh, you know, kind of offending me, and I ain't saying you got to, but I, I, I'm just feeling like if, if you apologize for, you know, the fact that you made me feel so uncomfortable that I didn't want to be around you, if you still want to continue to be my friend, I can accept your apology. But I didn't really get no apology. <laughs> I didn't really... You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like he might as well just said, "Hey, man, it is what it was." You know, that basically all right. Like, it is what it is, man. It's like that's where I felt. Move on. It's whatever. I, I do think he felt, you know, he felt bad about it, but, uh, <clears throat> but it's not in America. They do not let sleeping dogs lie. I'm gonna tell you that right no. now. It's going. Like, they're going to keep gonna, it going. They're going to be holding his every action up to a microscope. If he don't shake a black dude's hand on the street, <laughs> it's because he still hates black people. But you know you what? Know. No. But see, I don't. I don't want him to do that. I hate that putting on that show shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hate when when 
see, I'm not racist. I got black friends. You know, I respect what he's doing more now, you know, trying to clarify and explain more than, hey, look at my black friend here, you know, just showing up with, with, and hugging black people and shit. No, nah, don't do that shit. Don't be fake. But, like, and you know what? And you know his PR folks is already trying to line that shit up, too. And he probably like, man, I don't want to hear that shit. You know, he probably like, I don't want to hear that shit. It's, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Um, you know, I said what I said, and um, I'm trying to clarify and apologize, but I want you to know that, you know, I did feel that way, and I can't back off and say that I didn't feel that way. So, I mean, I respect that. What can I What can I say? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just moving forward. It's like, will I still support him? That's the only thing I can comment on. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I'm still kind of up in the air about that. You know, I'm still kind of thinking – it, will I go see Cold Pursuit? I was actually planning on doing a review. I was gonna tell you like, yeah, we we could probably check out Cold Pursuit this weekend, but I, was, I don't I was know. Gonna check with you about it before <laughs> all this came out. Like, hey, so we we getting up in on that like, Cold Pursuit, and now I'm like, mm. I mean, because they calling for this boycott, but it's like the movie wasn't gonna do great anyway. It's probably gonna be, you know, maybe ten, fifteen million. You know, now they're calling for a boycott. And they canceled the premiere. That's what I forgot to tell you. They canceled the premiere. They was going to have this big right. premiere in New York. Excuse me. They canceled that. They canceled that. And, you know, I don't know uh, where where they go from there. But um, this movie, it might take a hit. But I'll tell you, like I said, it's going to be a lot of, it's probably be a people overseas probably going to see it more too. Uh, not because of this controversy, just because they might want to uh, support him because of people down, you know, they down on him right now. So some people just want to show their support. So I guess, you know, he always going to have his, I, I'm pretty sure he got a lot of fans in Ireland and stuff. So, you know. <laughs> like, um, you know, he's got his fan base. He's like, After the fact, she's trying to clean this up. Like, oh, you can tell how uh, disgusted he was at the way he acted back in the day, yada, yada, yada. And then he tried to close it with a joke. You know, like, on, so, on, on that interview or that interview like and uh, I want you, I want to make sure that you print everything I said exactly the way I said it and like she says he like he grabbed her phone and held it up to his face or I'll find you, you really know? he did that. like yeah yeah who yeah. is this PR guy <laughs> you know, like, like somebody real? Dude needs a minder, bro. Like that, like that's one of the reasons why, like, it's been so hard for me, like, get this shit. I was like, because every time I'm like, who, like, who's watching him? No, no, dude, that's something he do. That's probably what his little thing to. After taking, that was his little thing. Yeah. Uh, but right now, you can't do that because this is too serious right now. Like, you just admitted to wanting to murder a, some random black dude right. at any given time. And then you said, oh, I'll find you. Even for a week. Like, for dude, week, dude, don't, don't no, wrong. Not the time to joke. He probably went He probably went backstage like, that was funny, right? They were probably like, no. <laughs> no like, don't, 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 don't talk to me. <laughs> I know. Oh, shit. I didn't know he did that. Uh, yeah. I try, you know, I try to get him benefit of the doubt, man. But doing shit like that. <sighs> yeah. I don't know, cuz. But you know what? And I'm thinking, like, tell the truth, Liam Neeson, his career is not really like skyrocketing right now. But I'm just saying, he was, he had all these dumb action movies. I mean, sorry, low budget action movies, but pretty much dumb. But low budget action movies. <laughs> uh, and I mean, that's where his fan base was, and that's where his, where he was at. So I'm saying, like, if his career of, Low budget action movies is over. Is that like a big loss <laughs> for him? I mean, like, I mean, you know, I don't think so. Like, this, I mean, because like one of the biggest like roles he's had as far as like things that I I I've watched is probably still Qui Gon Jinn. You know, <laughs> goodness. And like this, this I will say this is I'm waiting for someone to start memeing this because like there was a, a bunch of stuff talking about. Uh, Qui Gon Jinn was secretly a Dark Lord of the Sith or something, you know. <laughs> so yeah, like, I saw that. <laughs> uh, here, this comes back again. <laughs> now they got their proof. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, whatever. Ain't nothing I can say, man. Liam, um, 
you need to get you a PR guy that kind of coach you through yeah. shit like this. And first of all, common sense. Common sense say don't say that. Second of all, you don't say it publicly. You don't yeah. let yourself be recorded. And then, if especially if you're famous, uh, you got things to lose. Um, and then you're trying to promote yourself in America. That ain't going to fly. And look, then and you turn around. about to come out. And you ain't you even turn made around, your box office yet. Right. And then you turn around and not even, for real, give an apology. Just kind of give an explanation of why you said it and not really apology. And it then was, you turn around and throw a joke at the end? Come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, and the apology was basically like a long-form shrug. You know, like, it wasn't yeah. even really an apology. It was like, eh, what are you going to do? You know, you know and, like, I, and I'm kind of, at first I was kind of like, well, maybe I can overlook it, or, or I'm not overlook it, but maybe I, I can move on from this. But I'm thinking like, I don't know, Liam, dog, you look like you don't give a fuck, and yeah. you don't give a fuck? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I know he don't care if he lose all his black fans, but it's just the fact that you going to lose more than just them. You're going to lose, uh, for real, most of your American market. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? And you know what? I I, I wanted to run this pa past you because this is something I've been thinking about lately. Do you think that this narrative that, you know, folks have been pushing, like, as far as their, as you know, anti-racism goes, of I don't see race, you know, everybody's just people, is keeping people from being able to see when the shit that they say about race ain't cool. Yeah, this is this the thing, you know, we we PC, we so PC that um, whenever you say something, you just got to check what you say. Well, my problem is, hold on a second, okay. We so PC that you got to check what you say. Yeah, we talking about Liam Neeson. I don't know how long ago she left that message. <laughs> um, but you so PC. I mean, this country is so PC that you need to check what you say like so much that it's hard. You, you just got to, before you get recorded, you got to have some kind of coach that's going to make sure you, you know what I'm saying, they running, they they going through everything you say just to make sure you yeah. don't offend nobody. And that's that's yeah. where that's where we live at now. It might be yeah. different in um uh Ireland, but here you just can't get away with that. <laughs> and that's the thing that was just me. Any like not even just the Nixon, but every time one of these stories comes up, man, like uh we got this uh what was it, uh, the governor uh Oh my God! That, uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. He was like, like the governor or mayor no, or something of Virginia. You talking about that? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, folks have the ability to like be able to say, you know what? Uh, that was that was messed up. Let me go ahead and uh, look. I'm a, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just go. <laughs> you know, like they have no ability to just say, you know what? I was wrong. You know. They always got to clean it up some kind of way. Like, ah, hey, that was the time. You know, it was a... Like, dude tried to say it wasn't really blackface because he just put a little bit of shoe polish on his face. Because that stuff is hard to get no, off No, then he said it wasn't him. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, but not only that, like, one of his excuses was, look, that's cl that couldn't have been me. I, the only time I wore blackface around that time was when I was dressed uh, up for uh, a competition. How did he say that? Against wearing blackface, that that wasn't when you was wearing blackface. Did he say that? Did he actually say that? Yeah. Oh my. It's like I'm done. <laughs> you know, it's like oh no, like because uh, back then that clearly isn't me in the picture because uh, around that time the only time I had ever worn blackface was when I was in this uh, uh, singing a dancing competition. I was Michael Jackson. I had the glove and some black shoe polish. On I do remember. <laughs> I do remember hearing that saying like. Oh, I was playing Michael Jackson when I did blackface. <laughs> I'm like, man, just just go home, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's like you you've lost. You yeah, lost. No. You know. Bro, why would you oh God. Like, dude, <laughs> just stop talking. Just stop talking, bro. <laughs> you know, it's like, there's no way I could have killed Muggsy. I was too busy trying to kill his brother. Right. <laughs> So anyway, Virginia got some problems, dude, and I don't even want to go there because I'm not 
a political show. I'm more on entertainment. We just had to talk about this Liam Neeson shit because it, uh, you know, it was a movie coming out, and I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to get get that off my chest, and um, and <clears throat> and we ain't gonna be on all day, but um, I don't think I'm gonna see that movie. One, because it look don't look that good, <laughs> but two, I just I'm just gonna I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. I don't even think I'm gonna yeah. mess with it. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna watch some uh, spoiler videos online after the fact. Right. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we 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 might have some discussion on it. We probably talk about uh, what it did or, or you know the backlash of the the aftermath. We'll talk about the aftermath. Yeah. But we had a question in the chat, but I think she probably got off. Um, she just said what we talking about Liam Neeson, but. Uh, yeah, sorry I didn't uh, get a chance to hit you back because I didn't even see it. I didn't even see the chat pop up. But we'll talk later. But I'm gonna go ahead and get off. Uh, so let's wrap up. Thanks for checking out the podcast. Um, and we will we will probably do some. What's today, Tuesday? We we'll probably do something tomorrow. I'm actually off, so I ain't doing nothing. So we we'll probably do something tomorrow and. Um, and be on the lookout for our reviews. So, all right, man, we out of here. Subscribe to the channel. And that's it, right? <laughs> yep. All right, we out of here. Be good out there. <laughs>